Okay, we're gonna move on to some more rapid fire questions. So Anna asks, microplastics question. In the pregnancy aliquot, you say you tried to avoid plastics. Is the only reason plastic lined cans are worse than bags of frozen fruit vegetables is the time is that the oftentimes the canned food is put into the can hot. Do you buy frozen berries or frozen spinach for your smoothies that are in plastic bags? Or do you keep fresh fruit or greens in plastic bags and Ziploc bags? Okay, so um, here are here's what I do and my thoughts on on the plastic. I do try to avoid using plastic as much as possible. It's impossible to, I mean, my toothpaste is in a plastic container. My shampoo is in a plastic. It is ubiquitous. It's everywhere in our lives. And so the more places you can eliminate the plastic, the better. I use a brand of bags called Compostic, C-O-M-P-O-S-T-I-C, rather than Ziploc bags. So Compostic bags are what I store my food in, um, fruits, veggies, anything. I no longer use Ziploc or generic Ziploc brand plastic bags. Grocery store, fruits, vegetables, all that stuff, I don't put them in those plastic bags. They're either not in a bag at all or they go into a compostic bag, which is a compostable bag. I do buy frozen organic berries. They are in plastic bags. Um, and that is life. <laughs> so, so that is a, a, a part of plastic that is that is still in my life. Um, with respect to plastic, like lining cans, um, like 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 soda water or canned, you know, foods. Yes, a lot of times the canned foods go into the can hot, and so it is exponentially worse with respect to at least some of the chemicals like BPA that leach into the foods. It's it's less of a problem with the, f- the frozen berries in the plastic bags, but now we have to worry about nanoplastics, which are these just like microscopic plastic particles that that are shed, they're shed from plastic. So I, I think... I haven't started doing this yes yet, but after this question was submitted, I thought about, oh, maybe I'll buy my frozen berries and then just take my big compostic bag and then transfer them. The problem with the compostic bags is they don't seal as tight. And so um, they're, they're not as good for long-term storage. Now with something like berries, which I frequently, I go through so quick, it doesn't matter. But if you're trying to like store something longer term, it's not, it's not, you're, you know, it, it's not a really good option for storing something in the freezer long term. But the main thing to avoid is any, any kind of liquids in, in plastic bottles or cans or any foods in the cans. I think that's, that's the major source, particularly during pregnancy when, when the, you know, the developing fetus is very sensitive to BPA and all those sorts of chemicals. Weaverm is asking for, in the chat, for plastics, um, is there a water product um, or water bottle product that's good? I personally think the Yeti is good. The Yeti is not lined with plastic. Now, you do have to keep in mind, if you are drinking the Yeti with the plastic lid, then you're getting some probably nanoplastics in with the water. So you can unscrew the lid if you're conscious of this um, unscrew the lid and just drink out of the actual just bottle which doesn't have the plastic lid it's kind of annoying but I mean at the end of the day if you're getting the Yeti in the first place to avoid the plastic then you drink it with the little plastic lid thing what's the point right especially if it's like hot coffee I am bar is asking I try to do you try to avoid cans altogether I do I do avoid cans bottles all all together now I was recently traveling and I often look like in airports now, they'll often have like metal, like not metal, but um, um, what's it called? The, the titanium bottles that are like reusable. I'll look for those. Sometimes I can't find them in airports and then I just have to use a plastic bottle or can, you know, sparkling water when I'm on the airplane. Like there's, 
There are times when you just you just can't help it. But generally speaking, I avoid cans altogether as much as possible. 